southern Illinois out here on a new piece of ground got a hold of. Um, when he got a hold of the ground, soil test came back. Low pH out here. Uh, for that, we used uh, ProCal, which is what we use to raise pH instead of ag lime. It works a lot faster. That application, you know, was right here, right after we worked the ground. Um, as you can see, we're intercropping soybean and corn here. And on these beans, outside of the ProCal, we ran 12 ounces aerate. It's a chemical aerator we use to soften up the ground. Um, does a really good job. Outside of that, we ran three gallons of 31818 plus in the furrow. Uh, once these beans came up, we made another pass, five gallons of 31818 and a quart of foliarac. And this is where we are. Um, on a timeline, about when do we think we got these beans in? I know it was a little late, weather was fighting us. May 21st. Um, about the tw May 21st. May 21st, you know, like I said, weather's just been fighting us left and right out here, but some, we're still doing pretty good. On the corn, it saw that same uh, 31818 application off the planter. Um, it's gotten the foley rack at a quart and acre. ProCal is obviously going to be covering the whole field here. Um, other than that, we did a late season uh, pass of slow release nitrogen. And everything's coming on really good. I mean, against all odds, and when the weather's fighting, uh, it's it's nice to have a good stand, and uh, we're really looking forward to harvest here. So, pretty good deal. You know, on this corn, when I say it got hot, the heat index was is what it was. Where was it at? 110, 112. 110. No rain. Um, this green, this corn managed to stay green throughout that, and a lot of that has to do with the calcium. Uh, helping with the drought resistance, also the foliar act, getting that stuff, making a healthy plant. You know, it's going to be more resilient when times get tough. Um, and here we are, you know, still growing after all the crazy weather and, and looking pretty good. So, the, the Pro Cal and the Aerate has really made these crops stay healthy through very tough conditions. Very, very pleased with the product. Looking at some soybeans that had five gallons of 318.18 at planting, three gallons of ProCal with aerate post, pretty uh, soft ground through the aerate, it's a lot softer than the other side of the field. On the other side of the field, like we had uh, 200 pounds of dap, 200 pounds of potash. Over here, like, I see, like Travis said, eight, uh, 10 ounces of aerate, three gallons of ProCal, and five gallons of 31818 of planting. Looking pretty good. You can see pods starting to come through. There's a lot of them. Everything's looking really good. Root development, a lot of good nodules on there. Looking really good. Here we are at the 200 and 200 DAP and potash field. We still have conventional lime left on the ground that has not broke down. I already went ahead and pulled some uh, plants out for you. This is Agritech side right here. This is the 200 pounds of DAP, 200 pounds of potash. I mean, you can just see the pod count. It's a night and day difference. Uh, look at that, just the, even the stock size of the beans. I mean, we're looking really good on the Agritech side. As you can tell, visually, both soybean fields have a good color. Not the color doesn't pay your bills. <laughs> We've been doing some pod counts stuff here. Um, you know, this, this plant and these fields here, we got an average of about 142, 146 pods per plant. Um, very healthy, very consistent across the field. Um, probably one of the biggest things I noticed is, is the plant health and how soft and mellow the soil is. We have had not your best rainfalls here this year, but they've not been horrible. We're not going to call this field in a drought scenario, but we are a couple inches behind. And man, the ProCal has kept these kept these beans healthy. Uh, standing in our side by side, uh, this side of the field has 200, 200 dap and potash. Other side of the ditch is the Agritech ProCal, 
318-18 Airy 8. Um, as you can tell, big difference. Stocks, branches. When we were digging these plants, uh, this ground's very hard to dig. Um, not much penetration for the roots. Uh, same rainfall. Um, this gauge, that gauge, they're within a tenth of an inch over the year. So probably are a couple inches behind, but not droughty. Had some timely rains. Um, and all in all, uh, the ProCal is keeping these health plants healthy. You know, a lot of people are being told that, you know, the ProCal is, is a one year is done, quick fix. Um, that's not the case. So, you know, reach out to your local Agritech dealer, call Miller, call Nathan, let them explain to you what it is. It's their science behind going from this to what we're doing up there and uh, real good people to work with.